Hey everybody, we're here to go ahead and do an unboxing of this H100i from Corsair. Uh, it's a dual fan CPU uh, radiator and um, <clears throat> block. The i uh, indicates that it's the upgraded version, um, basically version 2. Uh, basically, it, I, my understanding has different fans and larger water tubes uh, to give it a little better uh, flow and cooling. Go ahead and just peel off the plastic wrap here and take a look at the inside of this box and what it contains. Alright, so we got just a little bit of documentation here of how to use it and uh, basically some, some installation instructions if you do need that as well. And under the foam you can see that we have everything here. This big portion right here is going to be the radiator uh, with the hoses attached with the CPU block. This one big piece here. Go ahead and take the plastic out of it and take a look. All right, we have our Corsair logo, which does light up. We have our copper water block here with thermal paste pre-applied to it as well. And we have our two fan radiator for our cooling. We do have a cable attached here for power. It looks like it's a SATA power, as well as a three-prong fan connection as well. And see what else is in this box. Looks like we have some hardware here. Uh, so some of the screws that you'll need, uh, the standoffs for the motherboard. We have our two fans, both of which are 140 millimeters. Take a look at uh, one of the fans here. Some of their pretty nice quality fans. We got our pronged fan connector there. It's a decent length of power cable as well. We do have some additional cables. Let's see what these are going to be used for. So we have a Corsair link cable, uh, which will attach to the motherboard for an application, uh, if you do need it as well. You can see that it will attach to the sides of the CPU block right here. And on the other side, it will have some additional connections as well. We have our... USB port for the Corsair Link. So these cables right here will allow you to do up to four fans onto it. So you can have it in a push and pull configuration. You'll attach the fans to one end and then the other end to the actual block itself. That'll gain the power for it. You can see that it has this for the Corsair Link to attach to the motherboard to give it access to the LED controls. It does come with two of those Y-Link cables to make sure you can put it in that push-pull configuration. We have our CPU hardware here, so it'll fit for both AMD and Intel CPUs. I'll be using this on a 1150. So here is all of the components. If you want to see the installation of this, I'll throw it down into the description of the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.